Kat and Ivan, thank you so much for tuning in to Holo Holo, the show for and about our Asian Pacific American community. There is some good news regarding our Filipino American World War II veterans and their survivors. Here to tell us more is Tito Al Garcia, the National Coordinator of Justice for Filipino American Veterans, and a leader of JFAB, Tita Ludi Gilkison, <laughs> and Mackie Fortu from Knights of Rizal. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Kat. Tito Al, I know you had sent me an email because the executive order that Obama was working on that took about 10 months to implement is finally going to start, right? Tell us more. On June 8th, uh, this coming June 8th, uh, the Department of Homeland Security will accept application mm -hmm. for uh, uh, petitions mm -hmm. of veterans and their survivors. Right. And there are some requirements uh, that comes through it. That's why we have to explain it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Ang unang-unang requirement dito, ang, the, ang pwedeng magbigay ng aplikasyon ng, para sa magpetisyon ng kanilang kamag-anak ay yung mga buhay pa mm -hmm. na veterano o kanilang mga kanilang mga balo kung patay na yung mga veterano basta nandito sila sa Amerika. Kalawa, mm -hmm. pwede nilang ipetisyon ang kahit na sinong kamag-anak nila, lalong-lalo mga anak nila, ano man ang taon nito, uh -huh. at yung mga apo nila na below 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Pangatlo, ang makakapag-petition lang, sorry doon sa mga nasa Pilipinas, uh -huh. yung nandito sa Amerika. Oh, only the ones that are oh, here yung in America. At okay. Tapos ang ikaapat mm -hmm. na maganda, kung namatay yung veterano, kinamatayan niya yung petition, katulad ng paulit-ulit na sinasabi ko, yung petition pwedeng i-revive. Right. At ito expedited, meaning mabilis ang proseso. Uh -huh. Pangalawa, bibigyan na kaagad sila ng working visa. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Now, um, Tita Ludi, I know you're the leader of <laughs> JFAB. Tell us a little bit more about your role and what this all means to you. Oh my God, Kat, um, I'm overwhelmed. Um, thank you, Art. Thank you so much. You know, it really means a lot to me because uh -huh. I, I came from the family of veterans too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my dad, my grandpa, and also my sons back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Um, to me, really helping veterans, mm -hmm. the World War II veterans, it needs to be done right now because, uh -huh. you know, our time is running out. Right. The, our veteran is 90 plus already. What mm -hmm. else can they be waiting for, you know? Right. Yes, uh, so far, we, According to the survey, we have 9,500 veterans living, and most of them are bedridden already. Right. So they need to be pastored to see, you know, their sacrifices, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not a small sacrifices. They give their life to this, to us, to, you know? Yeah, for our country. Yeah, for yeah. our country, you exactly. know? Exactly. And, you know, leaving their uh, family behind. Mm -hmm. And this thing needs to be done right away because, mm -hmm. uh, like, I'm so glad that there's another one way that, you know, whatever happened, the family that will be left behind now they have opportunity actually yes. to yep. be able to you know to to benefit right, too you know exactly. we have kids grandkids and mm -hmm. stuff like that you know yeah, oh yeah. god this is gonna be big yes. it's gonna be big very well said tita yes. ludi now tito maki um tell us your role your part of knights of Rizal. yeah uh, in uh, uh this is kind of uh uh a, a, a law, mm -hmm. if implemented, it's gonna bring a lot of uh, uh, chances to uh, uh, relatives of uh, our vets mm -hmm. because they know that uh, this is the kind of thing that will appreciate the efforts of the vets, right. their, their grandfather, their father, but also it will give them a chance. It will pave a way for them to come here to the U.S. Mm -hmm. and work if mm -hmm. they will be given a work visa. And this is a big chance for Filipino people because this is going to be a um, a, a big opportunity for their life. Right, right. And yeah. finally, we're being recognized for the work yes. that our veterans have put. Magandang bagay yeah. ito kasi ipagdiriwang natin yung 118th Mm -hmm. uh, Independence Day natin. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng parada sa historic Filipino town. Yes. Kaya ito eh, pagdiriwang natin kasi ang makapagbenepisyo dito Ayon sa Department of Homeland Security, eh, mm -hmm. around 6,000 to wow. 8,000 wow. uh, veterans, wow. pati mm -hmm. yung mga balo. Kasi right. kung namatay na yung veterano, mm -hmm. ang balo o yung anak nila ang pwede magpetisyon. Right. Dahil yun nga, bilang basta mapatunayan nila, uh -huh. nang magpipetisyon ay World right. War II veterans. Kaya, right. 
si you know, si Maki imbitahan mo yung mga tao para sumama sa parada natin. They're very excited now because you, you know what <laughs> this this is out this parade. This kind of community uh, community uh, um, event. Right. The Independence Parade. Mm -hmm. This is not just showing up our cultural heritage mm -hmm. or, or showing up who we are, right. but at the same time, it's also creating an image, an identity, mm -hmm. and a good impression of the Filipino community yes. in Los Angeles, not only in LA, but also in the United States as right. a whole. Right, right, exactly. Yes. And it yeah. all happens this coming weekend, June 4th, June right? June 4th, Saturday. Exactly. Saturday. And then um, the parade setup is at 8 a.m. Yes. in front of Silver Lake Medical Center. Center. Right. Yeah, but You're the parade actually right, starts at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, Tita Ludi, and I'm going to look for you. <laughs> it's a free event. Um, show our support. Yes. Um, be thankful, right? Uh -huh. Yes. For more info, where can we go? I know um, for our veterans that need help filling out the applications, we can go to the JFAB website, right? Yeah, Jamal? but uh, we will be we will be doing the application at mm -hmm. the Filipino American Service Group Incorporated. Okay. Nice. One the the address is one three five North Parkview Street. Uh, Los Angeles, California, 90026. Okay. Thank you all for being yeah, here thank today. You, God. Thank, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you. For sure. Again, for more info on the Philippine Independence Day happening in historic Filipino town, be sure to head to the website on your screen. And if you have any questions regarding Obama's executive order for a Filipino American World War II veterans, be sure to head to JFAB's website, which is also on the screen. We'll be back.